YouTube what's good man welcome back to another video pretty much what we got today is we got the other set of door panels that we are working on for a cat eye Silverado we're doing four door panels and we're putting three tens and three horns on each door um, so I didn't really want to fall behind like that so what I'm actually doing is I'm taping up the door panels and I'm actually gonna go um, cut some uh, fiberglass mat make some resin and make the mold of them today just so they're out the way but let me go ahead and gather everything real quick and then I'll meet you in the backyard uh, and then we're gonna resin and these doors I did actually take some components off the door panel just to make it a little bit easier on myself to make the mold. But for another reason as well too, is when I make the mold, I wanna get it as close as possible to the edges. So when we go to cut our mold out, man, it's like dead on, you know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's on the money. So I feel taking off a little bit of the components, components like the handle right here or the armrest, uh, you know, it gives us a little bit more to play with to bring that fiberglass line to the edge, man. So that should be bomb. You know, we're here to make the door panels look a little bit of dope. You know what I'm saying? Make the customer feel like, man, you know, uh, you know, these are some nice door panels. Uh, we just want to try to give the wow factor to the person getting, you know, um, jobs done. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes it's not even about making the money. It's about, you know, giving a person a wow factor. Everybody wants to have like one good moment uh, and, you know, I feel good whenever I get done building, you know, my trucks and I just sit back and be like, dang, you know what I'm saying, that's my truck. You see what I'm saying? So um, I want to be able to at least put part into giving that experience to the customer, man. So that's why sometimes, um, man, we just, you know, do it. You see what I'm saying? So um, let me cut this uh, fiberglass mat up and then I will get back with you right before we start resonating. So I think we're pretty much set up out here real quick, man. We got resin in a cup. We got extra resin. Uh, we got the M key, P, the hardener, some rubber gloves, some paintbrushes, a stir stick real quick, some rags. We have the door panels with the fiberglass mat on top of it. Piece of wood holding it down because it is windy, guys. Look, you see it? Actually learned from the last time we were actually working with this in the sun like this, almost in the same identical weather. We had barely only did like probably like seven uh, cc's of hardener so we're actually going to just do five so um it just has plenty of time for it to cure and gives us plenty of time to work go with ahead it. and mix up some resin real quick man and we can start getting to work so the door panels got fiberglass mat on them both of them it didn't take me that long to go ahead and mat them all the products right there resin mkp cup resin cup rubber gloves and they're done they're quick you know this is quick money right here uh, so after this um, probably saturday i'll make the mold of the other doors my plan is to pretty much do all the woodworking on all the door panels at the same time so i'm gonna just probably have my homeboy come over here that has the same identical truck and i'm just gonna take his door panels off and i'm just gonna slap these door panels on and we're gonna work off it like that so they're perfectly built the other truck obviously we got it here so you know one day we'll load up rings on that one and then we'll fleece the panels and then the other day we'll load up the rings fleece them up uh, and then the owners can actually take the trucks from there if they want to you know do any tightening up while i'm sanding on them then i'll pretty much just sand all the door panels at the same time so you know i just go in, in stages on for both of them so they both get pretty much done at the same time because like i said on both of the door panels builds we're not installing speakers we're just doing um building the door panels wrapping them and mounting them to the door 
Uh, so if we can do like fiberglass everything at once, uh, sand and everything at once, wrap it everything at once, we don't have to take out that many tools that many times. So it's just one by one by one. And as we knock them out, man, done deal. Like I said, I wasn't even gonna record today, but man, it's such a nice day out, why not? Look, if you see that little dot right there in the center, man, I am gonna get a new lens because that is bugging me or I'm gonna open up my lens tonight and clean that out and hopefully that gets rid of it. Let me clean up and then we'll continue the video. A few moments later. All right, so these are actually the rings that we built yesterday for the four door panels that we we're gonna do. Three tens on that door as well. And these are the, actually the rings that are going on the molds that we are making right now. So two different styles. Um, the speakers just sit inside here, uh, exposed maybe with a ring on top of it maybe, but these they get hidden behind uh, the inner ring that's going to be wrapped in vinyl with some speaker grill mesh on it. So all you see is the mesh, you'll never see the speakers. So two different styles of doors that we're building, but they're both going to be loud, trust me. Them things are going to be talking. All right, so we're actually back in the Silverado, man. I'm a, I gotta go bust a mission. Hopefully by the time I actually get back, man, them door panels will actually be somewhat dry. Uh, and then, you know, but I'm actually gonna let them sit overnight just so they can mold really good. And then maybe tomorrow, just to drop a quick little video, um, I'll cut them out. Then we'll lay some rings so you can get a better idea on how they're gonna work. Uh, we are gonna have to chop some of them on certain corners to get them to fit. But, you know, we're going to put the step router round over on them so we can staple our fleece. And then once we get after uh, resining the, the fleece stage, uh, maybe we'll fill it in real nice with uh, some filler and give it nice curves so it looks like it was meant to be there. So with all that being said, gang, man, enjoy your Thursday. Man, just if you're having a hard day, you know, you feel like you, you work too much or you work too hard or you just need a time for yourself, can I just sit down? You know, if you, you drink, you know, pop a cold one. If, if, if you know, you, you have other ways on how to hang it out, man, you know, by all means do it. You know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your moment, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, enjoy your Thursday. I'm gonna keep riding and enjoying this fresh air. And then we'll get back uh, to car audio tomorrow again, man. So, subscribe to the channel, hit that like, drop them comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.